Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseDevs.com. And this is episode number 397. 397. Of Mouse Devs Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Span Travel. Four more resorts are scheduled to reopen to guests in the coming months. Disney's Beach Club Resort, Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Disney's Boardwalk Inn, and then Disney's Polynesian Village Resort in uh, in late Ju- is scheduled for late July. Check out MEI and Mouse Fan Travel to to book your Disney vacation. Of course, they have the DVC components there open, but mm-hmm. the standard rooms will. Well, especially it's those new Moana rooms at the Poly. I'm looking forward to seeing that. The, those should be really nice. And first off, we have a bit of news from the Magic Kingdom. Disney released this photo of Stitch riding the People Mover. Um, it's supposed to be open sometime this weekend. They said later this weekend, which might mean Sunday. But we're going on Monday after the beer gardens. We already have been planning that. That's right. So we'll be there Monday afternoon. Fingers crossed. I can't wait to ride the People Mover after so long. I know. It's been over, I think, over a year at this point. And Stitch looks like he's loving his ride. Why? Everybody loves <laughs> riding the People Mover. So we're going to start off at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It was Earth Day this week. It's Earth Week, actually. And, of course, also the anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. 23 years, mm-hmm. and I was there on opening day, and you were there on opening day. And we were both there many pre-opening days as well. I was I was there for one pre-opening day. It was very busy that day. And um, so it's hard to believe it's been 23 years. Disney didn't do a ton for Earth Day or um, the anniversary this year, but they have a few extra characters and a little bit of other stuff going on. We have um, Pocahontas and Miko are always here. We ended up waiting for the brother bear, Kota and Kenai, uh, and checking out all of the festive flotillas. We haven't seen them in a while. That's right. And this time we're actually watching it from a closer location by the bridge leading into Pandora. So it's a really nice location. There's plenty of shade here. It was not crowded. If you want to get up close to the characters, I would recommend this area in the afternoon. I think in the morning, it's probably more busy with people lined up to go into Pandora. And actually, we also like the big stadium if we're not trying right. to get close to it's them. It's very you sunny know, in the that big stadium, life, though. It could be hot on a hot it, day. It can be. And here are the uh, the Discovery Island drummers who went by. It just, this is, was actually a really peaceful location. We showed up at like 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. to the park, and uh, it was never really busy over here. And it turns out that these flotillas ended at 4.15, so I'm glad that we didn't wait too much longer. Mm-hmm. But it really, as you mentioned, it was perfect timing. Here is Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. It's really, these are a really nice way for guests to see them all over, you know, the Discovery River. They're floating this way, and then... I mean, they just go everywhere, so thousands of guests can see them if they want without without crowding. That's right. And here is the main reason we were waiting for them, Coda and Kenai. Right. So um, we've got the Brother Bear characters here. We've seen them at... Uh, oh, at... dance parties. Remember, they yes. were... Turns out these bears, great dancers. Yes. Really they're... good dancers. <laughs> Who would have knew? And while well, they're dancing right now, yeah, so obviously that's true. That is very true. Um, but especially the like the DVC parties and such, we were hoping maybe Jiminy Cricket or a few of the other uh, Earth Day type characters might come out. But but we had Coda and Ken, uh, Kenai, and then uh, Russell over at Conservation Station. That's right. We'll see Russell a little later. And you had mentioned Jiminy Cricket when they when they first announced they were going to have, as they said, <laughs> rare characters appear. I instantly thought Jiminy Cricket because. You know, in recent memory, he is always at Disney's Animal Kingdom for the anniversary and Earth Day week. At least, at least most years. So, you know, but it was fun. This was a very low key day for us. Right. I, I actually really enjoyed it, especially when we got to see the real animals. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, these, you know, <laughs> they're it, real. <laughs> it was just so relaxing. Even getting this footage, just kind of sitting here, seeing the birds go by, being in the shade. It was very quiet and relaxing, except for the occasional helicopter. I never realized how many helicopters fly over Disney's Animal Kingdom than when I was waiting for these characters. You know what? I wasn't even paying attention. I was in a different area. I was just sit. I would sit down. In you, the had shade. The, you had the best. I had a great spot, and uh, then I would get up when I when I'd hear them coming. And there, this is part of the Donald's Dino Bash contingent. You have uh, Chippendale as dinosaurs, and then Goofy. Right, and I like Goofy is about to row, and this is the last of the characters we have now seen. All the characters that were out, so uh, you did not get to see characters that usually came, which would be Rafiki and uh, Timon. Right. So, um, but, you know, it was a little something uh, different for guests. And 
then we headed to Rafiki's Planet Watch, which was actually a little busier than I thought, although the park itself was not was not too busy. Um, you know, the we didn't do Kilimanjaro safaris because it said it was a 40-minute wait the whole time. It was so much fun, though, to be back on the Wildlife Express. We haven't ridden a train in a long, it's long time. It's been a while. And this, you know, this train really moves around a lot. It's it's fun. Bumpy. It's yeah, <laughs> it, it's bumpy, but it's fun. It feels like a real train. You I know? I loved being back on it. it. It has been a while since we've taken it. They um they spread guests out a little bit, so you probably have like half the guests that would normally be able to definitely or yeah. or less. Um, so there's it was plexiglass, actually, your distance, yeah. everybody sits in the back row, which makes for good views of the animals and in the uh, various uh, backstage areas, which is always interesting to see. So actually it would be less because since they kept the front row clear mm -hmm. and then fewer guests in the back row, but it wasn't so busy where, you know, it wasn't like there was a line to get on. One but thing was, I noticed is oh. they did tell you you had to uh, depart the train. You couldn't sit on for a Grand Circle tour anymore. Because because there was enough guests who wanted to get back on and we're just passing some of the animal buildings. I recognize these from the uh, Disney Plus show, a lot of these backstage areas. The now. Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is a terrific show. And uh, hopefully we will see a season two of that. So here we are arriving. There was a line, but they were able to get everybody on, I think. Like when, as we were leaving, we went to see Russell and as we were leaving, it didn't look like anybody else was waiting. So it was like just enough. Right. Just and, and because enough. I think there's only one train that runs and they stop having uh, guests go at, I think, 4.15 or something. I, it was really quick getting out of, uh, of the conservation station. And there's Russell. Perfect. As we got off the train, we got to see Russell. And he has not been around this whole time. So this this week has been his first time back to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Yeah, I, I mean, at least in the yeah since reopening. We did see him um, for DVC events. Mm -hmm. And actually, that he used to meet with Carl and Doug and Discovery Island. Right. Um, but hopefully we'll see. <laughs> hopefully we'll see that again uh, in the near future. That was fun. Did you see who was just taking a I selfie did. of us? That I was, was great. I was there. Yes. Like I saw it and I took photos of it. Yes. And of course he's always <laughs> so proud of his badges. It's just he's a he's a great character. And you know guests were really enjoying this. He was in a terrific location because anybody who's coming off the train, anybody who's getting on the train might have been able to see him. And I noticed other guests kept confusing him with Kevin. They would say, hi, oh. Kevin. And, and he'd be like, no, Kevin is up in the trees. So it was oh. really funny. And so uh, we haven't been out here since the parks reopened. Um, so we went walking around Conservation Station and we got to see, I think these are like little beetles. You know, it's been, I don't remember all of these little exhibits. And maybe it's just because it's been quite some time since we've been inside. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, last time I saw beetles at Disney's Animal Kingdom, they were chocolate beetles on a specialty ice cream. And they were actually really good. I don't even remember this. Like, you were telling me that, and I do not. It was like a green Did ice I cream. Eat it? It was, yes. You I loved don't... it. It was a special, it was a hot day. And we ate, you've never seen an ice cream go that fast. I don't remember. I do not Ice remember this. Ice cream is never better than with chocolate beetles. I, I, I don't remember it at all. So there is uh, Mickey ready for, I think, an operation. That's right. We're looking inside the animal hospital. Again, this is a very famous place now because of the Disney Plus show. And also, um, I mean, they do surgeries, but I We've don't... We've seen them on the show, yeah. On the show, yes, but you can actually see um, animals in here. I think it's more of an early morning thing, and I have almost never seen animals in there, but I know... Of people who ha you know have enjoyed watching. Yeah, they told us if you want to see activity in there first thing in the morning, head straight there as soon as they open the train. That's your your best shot at it. But, and that's what I have heard, you know, in the previous years. Uh, we're really never there in the morning. And there is of course Mickey and his popular, you know, his popular drawing there. <laughs> so you said you wanted to see some real animals. So we went to the Maharaji Jungle. Maharaja. Oh, Maharaja. 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 Okay, well. Jungle Trek. I do my best. There's no E. Well, whatever. The <laughs> Maharaja Jungle Trek. Yes. And there is a giant lizard. It is a Komodo dragon. And I knew that. I, I just want to let you. I'm, I'm setting it up for you yes. to announce it. Um, him or I have. I have not seen the Komodo dragon in a really good spot here. He's Actually, been on vacation, remember? Last time they said he was on vacation. I don't remember. Yes, we, we, we saw his empty area, but he has returned. And a lot look of how close you are. Look at that are. character he has. But even, or she. Even, even when they've had um, the Komodo dragon here before, very rarely have we seen it in a spot that we could get such good photos. So it was really cool to just kind of 
watch, and it didn't do anything, but... Um, oh, he moved around a little bit. A little bit, but not a lot. So here we are. We're heading into where the bats are. Look at there that was, wingspan on that bat. There was one bat. I think these, this is called the Malayan Flying Fox, and it used to be... There was like a hundred bats in here a long time ago. I remember ago. that they'd be all over the place, everywhere. And I assume that there's still, you know, that there's more. There weren't very many the last times that we've come in, but not just the one. So there might be some like around the corner. I don't know. And they could all be in their caves or taking yeah. a break, you know. But they used to have a ton. And so then we saw one tiger. So we saw one bat, one tiger. But the tiger was eating and i think that it was like in ice i think the food was in ice like meat like, in ice like ice right. or meat pop well it's um it would be an enrichment activity and food and the it was so wonderful because i've got look at it it looks like it's looking at us we're nowhere near this tiger <laughs> but it looks like it's looking right our way and i got some really nice photos and I, I was able to see the beautiful art the tiger artwork here on the the area in the, in the maharaja jungle track and that um i just want to mention it's a sumatran uh tiger which is the smallest subspecies of tigers and every time i come through here like my stepmother is from india she went to school in the um, foothills of the the himal uh she'll call himalayas like I always called it Himalayas growing up. And so it's just cool to go through there, you know. So speaking of cool, it was now time for us to have our traditional Animal Kingdom treat. And uh, we went to Starbucks and we tried this cheetah mocha mousse, which you can explain. It's really more of a cookie. No, it's a brookie. It's a brookie. Brookie, it's brownie a, cookie. And I had no idea. So we ordered it. And I guess it's been around for a few months they didn't have like a Earth Day item here. Right, normally there's an anniversary item, but nothing, nothing like not, that this Right, year. and I think they have, but at the time we went, there wasn't. Okay. So, but you can see on the bottom, it's like a brookie. It's a, There's some cookie, there's some brownie, and then there's this really thick, thick chocolate mousse, and it's got the mocha flavor in it. It's really good. Everything about this was good. Unlike the St. Patrick's Day treat we had last time, I would get this again. This is very, it was really good. And I enjoyed the St. Patrick's Day, uh, Day one, but I, I really like this. So I definitely recommend it if you go. We're going to the boathouse now. Oh, we're going to the boathouse. Boy, what an appetite. First, we, we go from Brookie to the boathouse. Not on the same day. No, that's true. Um, the boathouse opened in 2015. It's been open for six years now, which is hard to believe. It has been my favorite restaurant at Walt Disney World that whole time. The food here and the service are outstanding. Of all the times we've gone, we have never had less than tremendous service. As a matter of fact, my parents still talk about our trip about four years ago now about the great service and the great experience at the boathouse. And hopefully they will be able to come back, you know, again. And there's so, where we sat, by the way, straight ahead, right on that little, little it's dock. It's like a there. dock, right? And it was, it moved a lot. So if you're going to sit outside in that area. <laughs> but it was like being on a boat almost. I mean, it was kind of, once you got used to the movement, uh, it was really cool. And, and as I'm showing, our, uh, our little drink. We had two of these the very shipwreck. nice drinks. Was, shipwrecks. Wasn't planning two, just was planning one. But well, it was, it was so really good, good we needed another shipwreck. <laughs> one each. So um, we ended up ordering what we always order is uh, to start with is a Caesar salad, but you know, we split it. It's $8 for a large Caesar salad and then they will bring it out in two plates. Look at how happy. Look at how happy you are. Uh, That's why we had another shipwreck. Yes. I, you know, <laughs> I, there's something about the boathouse and you know, I remember we talked to Steve Schussler and he said that they really wanted, he really wanted to build out on the water right, and, utilize and you know, that area. utilize the water and they really have, and going out here feels like you are not at Walt Disney World. It just is so relaxing. <laughs> and and I'm not shaking, by the way, the whole <laughs> dock is shaking. These rolls, by the way, are tremendous. Always. And we had to ask this time. So I don't know if, if because of where we were sitting, you have to oh, ask. Oh, let me explain. Where we were sitting is first come, first serve. So there's a section outside past, past the um, walkway mm -hmm. there, and everything there is first come, out first by, serve. Out by the bar, there's actually right. a ton of tables out right. there, and I've never really thought about it because we're always at the, at the main area. I don't know if I'd ever want to sit inside as much again because I just find it so relaxing You're right. Outside. It's so much nicer. We had a nice uh, umbrella. There was a breeze. It was just perfect. It's like being at the shore or something. Oh, and, and fillet sliders. That's the, Yeah, and I ordered fillet sliders. They normally come with fries. I asked for the new potatoes instead, um, which is good because when they give you fries, there's like a massive amount of them. And you got to take advantage of that because I, I had a massive amount of fries with my food and I shared them with I keep, you. I keep forgetting and i gave you a new potato that's right um 
I keep forgetting I have one in the fridge, so I need to eat it today. Well, we'll have to uh, yes. make sure that happens. <laughs> and this is a mahi sandwich. Fresh, great, fantastic. I've had one in the past. Last time we went, I did the lobster roll, but I wanted to try something else. You know, break it up a little bit. The filet sliders are 14 really still a bargain. And this, um, the mahi was 24 Was it 24 It was oh, yeah, 24 okay. yes. Well, it was and worth plus it. We totally get worth it. 10% off um, with our annual pass. Um, and we had, uh, Ariel was our server who was terrific, but... Darian was like the assistant server, and he's British and so funny. So I hope he becomes a regular server too, because I would totally ask for him. I just was yeah, so he was impressed. great. We were entertained the whole time by he just so, by everything. He was just so funny. Um, so here we are looking back at the boathouse. It's almost like a little boat museum back here as well. And it's been a while since we've walked back here um, because the boathouse is so popular. Before we got vaccines, we only came here one time um, during the in the past year. And we did a, a segment on that in one of our previous shows. And, but I want to go back again. I'm already ready to go back. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love being out here. And uh, especially on a, a beautiful day like this one. It truly was a gorgeous day and a wonderful experience as it always is. I mean, as we said, never, never, never of the many times we've come, has it been less than, the, never. Less than great. Uh, you know, in six years, uh, we used to come more often, but I think we'll be here a little more often again. Again, my favorite restaurant, Disney property. And I, I don't know if they've always had all these tables and maybe they have, but there's a lot of tables back here. Actually, when it first opened, they did have less. They just had some couches out there. Oh, that's right. And mo mm -hmm. there was, uh, you know, mostly it was a place to walk around and look at all the, the boats. boats. Right. Oh, Amphicar. We have done the Amphicar twice, I think. It's been a very long time since we've we've done it, but that was a very nice ride. And um, they weren't as popular when, I think, when they first, when the boathouse first opened. Mm -hmm. But you see the the amphicars out here all the time now i mean full oh yeah there's always is, there's lines to do it it's now. a it's a very unique ride and uh, and guests really seem to enjoy it it's about it i think it's about a 20 minute ride and i loved it when we did it it was really fun and when you dine you get a like a 25 dollars off coupon mm -hmm. with it at least we did last time right so um i we definitely we definitely recommend you know a meal here but also the amphicar if you happen to be here it's a unique experience that you can't get into you know too many places Places. So again, a great time at the Boathouse. Also though, while we were at Disney Springs, we checked out the Marketplace Co-op because there is a Disney Cruise Line pop-up shop there now. And the pop-up shop will be there um, through the beginning of September. And uh, it, it's really nice to have the opportunity. I wish that I wish that cruises were going, mm -hmm. but as they are not yet, um, it's nice to be able to have that opportunity to um, buy some merchandise. And they've had the cruise line merchandise here in the past, just not the extent uh, at this shop. It's it's like a full shop of merchandise. You got we can see lounge fly bags. There's um, apparel. There's you know almost anything that you might think that you can buy as far as Disney merchandise on the Disney Cruise Line. And I think it's going to be rotating. So I guess there'll be more different merchandise coming and going. So if you see something you like, you you, you would probably want to pick it up. There's um, spare jerseys. We just saw some Castaway Key uh, merchandise. It's, you know, you don't really think about how much merchandise that Disney sells on the Disney Cruise Line because, you know, there's four ships worth. You have um, also the Castaway Key merchandise is different. It really is is quite a bit. The one item that I really would have liked, though, is a uh, Tervis mug. I thought they had it. They had metal Tervis mugs. Oh. I was looking for the plastic, maybe a castaway, like we have in the past. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had some metal ones, and I think... We just saw the blue metal Tervis. They're very nice. There's a mini... I think it was a um, wine cup also, a Tervis wine cup. But Disney Cruise Line always has had, for years, really nice Tervis tumblers, so you never know what might go through here. And also some of it is probably on sale at um, shopdisney.com. Not all of it. Like they never sell this amount of merchandise for the Disney Cruise Line there. And you know, another thing while we're looking at this, hopefully they'll get that nice Hawaiian shirt that I've seen them sell at oh. uh, Castaway as well. Well, we live here and we can keep We'll have to go uh, many times. And there's and you'll see why there's a good reason for us to come back to this area. Oh, there, I see there the other Tervis now. There is a Tervis, yes. Um, so I, I do expect that we'll see some merchandise leave, some merchandise come. There's some matching, there's like matching dresses there. Um, and also the ears, and I might be picking the ears up for, for I think Cindy wanted the ears, so I'll have to... 
Oh, we'll have to double check. And you're whispering, so in case she is listening (laughs) or watching the show, she will never know that we're talking about Cindy in Belgium. (laughs) I think she might have worn those ears. (laughs) I have to make sure she did, so... Um, but anyway, we're just still looking at some yeah, of the Yeah, this is about it. One more uh, just uh, scan through. I wanted to show all the different items that you can get. One of our friends uh, picked up that hat right there, that big hat. Yeah, the, like we had friends there picking up all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. Um, the Disney Wish is scheduled to, uh, to debut in summer 2022. This ship will be the fifth in the fleet, and I cannot wait because the Disney Fantasy so far is my favorite. Every ship is my favorite when it comes Well, this online. will be the biggest of all the Disney Cruise Line ships when it uh, debuts. And Disney released this um, this concept art, and you can see that beautiful chandelier. It's, it's like inspired by when the fairy godmother you know, when she got her ball gown, when Cinderella got her gown. And speaking of Cinderella, you could see the statue will be Cinderella. I'm sure we'll be getting lots of people, guests, posing with her. I, you know, it looks gorgeous. They used to call this the atrium, but now they call it, you know, the Grand Hall. Mm -hmm. And I assume all of the ships are called Grand Hall now. We'll find out a lot more this week because there's a big event coming up. Well, on April 29th, it's something that um, guests can watch Mm -hmm. themselves. If you go to the Disney Parks blog, you can find out all about it or on on the site, our site. Um, You can find out all about the Disney Wish. And they're going to have this big, you know, a, a reveal. Well, also, right next door at Dockside Margaritas, you have some drinks from the Disney Cruise Line, including the Dockside Strawberry Daiquiri, which, of course, for the for the sake of research, we had to try. We had to get it, and uh, so you don't like coconut as much, so we went I for actually, the daiquiri. I, I'm okay with the... Uh, Are you? Yeah, I wouldn't have I a pina colada. Because I would have tried that. We'll have to go back. Yeah, it, no. Exactly. We will have to go back. I don't need that many And it cups. comes with a uh, souvenir cup. It's a plastic cup, but it's actually quite nice. I thought I thought it was very relaxing, just like the boathouse, because on this side of the bar, they didn't have anybody working it. It was only on the one side, so we could just come over here and, and drink without anybody around, because everybody was pretty much taking their drinks. Well, you know, a, a, boat, a strawberry daiquiri from Disney Cruise Line is never better than after two shipwrecks from the boathouse. <laughs> Yeah, we don't normally drink that much. At, at, we're going to the beer garden, so we'll have a beer and some wine. But um, that was a little more alcohol than we would normally have at Walt Disney World. Well, we, and let's say, you know, we were celebrating that day. We just had gotten our 900,000th subscriber, subscriber here on the, our site here it on was... the Mouse Steps YouTube channel. So thank you for everybody yes, thank subscribing. You. And now we're at the Gaylord Palms. We had a stay there about one week ago, and we're going to talk about that. We normally stay, are invited to stay once per year for ice for a night or two. But this, I think we've had four stays this year. They've been, I feel like I live there. and I, I love living there. <laughs> it is so relaxing. You know, I, I love the Gaylord Palms uh, Resort. There's just something about, especially with the amount of time that we've been able, usually during the holidays, like we're really focused on holidays and not as much on everything else going on in the atrium, which is four and a half acres I just, I love it. And this is a view from this stays uh, balcony. We've not stayed in this area ever before, and I really liked it. It was a great view. You could see all the way down one end to the other. We normally can see the alligator, so we're more in further down. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's just beautiful. We're seeing the St. Augustine section, and um, we've still got water a waterfall view. There's so many waterfalls and so much landscaping in the entire atrium. Um, I really, I really loved exploring it even more and it's not like we haven't seen everything over the last you know 10 or 11 years we've been working but this with them, whole stay but... we just enjoyed all the amenities that the hotel has to offer and you know there's always perfect weather in the atrium mm-hmm. no matter what's going on if it's windy if it's raining it's a perfect day in here and we decided we're going to enjoy some of the animal experiences this time the and i always do but we really spent more time this time on them and you can see we always, this is like my first stop every visit is the alligators because I just love them. And they used, they used to be um, tended to by Gatorland, but they are tended to by Wild Florida now. And a couple of times per week they have um, where they do feedings. And you don't even need to see the feedings no. though. I mean, just 
just coming here at any time of the day, we had such a great time. And they get very, at certain times, they become very active. We're, gonna, we're going to show that very soon. Usually in the evening, um, they're in the water where normally they are not in the water during the day too much. And remember when the grunt had his neck going like that when they were breathing yeah. and you were hoping he was okay? It looks like yeah, that's I guess how they just breathe. Normal. Now, I don't know what was going on here. And I did not realize it for some reason, I don't remember them <laughs> where I noticed they ever swum under the bridge. This turtle... Like, it's like a salmon going upstream yeah, here. I, this turtle, the turtle wanted he, to get to the top of the waterfall. He worked so hard. <laughs> and I don't know why, because if he had just turned around, he could have been like in just regular calm water within like five seconds. Well, he got tired eventually. He did. And he then stopped. he did uh, float around but there. But really, it was so much fun to watch. Well, I mean, I I just don't know why he wanted to go up the waterfall. And now he's like, okay, I'm I'm... He's taking a rest. He's taking a rest, but like now he can swim the other way back under the bridge with all the other, you know, where all the other gators are. But see, are. I thought only the turtles could get through. Not the case. Full th and this this gator is pretty big. After all these years, yeah. I, I don't remember. Over 10, right? 10 years. Well, we've been working with them for 11 years, and I've been here at other, we've been here at other times. And I've never noticed an alligator on this side of the bridge. I loved it. It was so much fun to watch. This. I thought it was. I thought it was so cool. So now I'm going to be watching for that. Um, you know, it's just, it's just wonderful. Like you know, there's so much to see and do. Not only for their seasonal events where you might, there's activities for the seasonal events, but just to be here, you could spend like a full day. You know, we did just hanging we did out. We did. And, uh, and I just, I really, it's so relaxing. It really is. And I know I've said relaxing a lot. I don't relax that easily. Right. Neither so of us do. I, in this, I did this, a lot this week. And we did the wildlife rescue game, which is a game, augmented reality that you do on your phone. It's an app you download and walk around the atrium and then you can see it, these animals. I don't, I don't know if I'd call it a game as much as an app that you... You, yeah, I guess there really for, is not, it's not it's, a game. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. So I guess it sort of is, but... Um, it's really cool because like right here, it says polar bear and now you have a polar bear and then you can go in and take your picture with a polar bear. And this is something I think it's exclusive to Gaylord Hotels, not like um, almost 10 years ago, Marriott bought uh, or acquired mm -hmm. uh, Gaylord, the Gaylord Hotels. And I don't think like Marriott's have it. I think it really is just like a Gaylord experience. It was so much fun though to see all the different animals and they really seem like they're alive. I, I thought that was so cool. And I know they had it on our last visit. They actually uh, started adding it like last July. So there's probably a couple of visits we just didn't do this. We <laughs> end up getting busy. And this was this ended up being really fun. We, it was on our way out. We were about to leave. The yeah, we resort. had already checked out. We had, yeah. we had put our bags in our car and we were just wanted to see one last look at the gators and one last walk around the atrium. And then we decided, oh, let, let's take a look at this game, or not game, the well, experience. Well, it's, it's sort of like an, a game and experience, right? And then we ended up spending like an hour and a half <laughs> doing every single animal. And this is the last one. I think we're only showing a few. But it was, it was once you start doing it, you want to see what the other animals might be. Yeah, I don't think we were quite an hour and a half, but at least probably an hour. And it was just like, it was it was actually really fun. I, I was not expecting to find this as fun as we did. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely would do this again. And again, you can take pictures with them. You can stand behind them and put your hand like you're touching his head and get a picture. And we I should have put some of those in, but you can do all sorts of things, creative things too. And then um, Crystal River Rapids is the newest. Uh, they have a Cypress Springs water park. They have a ton of like pool area slides, everything. It's like you wouldn't necessarily need to leave the resort if you're wanting pool activities. And the Cypress Springs uh, or the... Crystal River Rapids is really, uh, you enjoyed this. Well, this was the Friday night that we checked in uh. about an hour before they were closing down the, the water park for the day. And I wanted to show this to say, if you want to experience with the, the least amount of guests as possible, we were told this is the time to come. Now, it doesn't always work because we tried it Saturday night and it was still very busy, but at least sometimes at the end of the day, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it will usually be less crowded than, uh, than during, during the, the day, day. especially right. the morning. They say the morning is the big rush. Well, even Saturday night was less busy than it had been during the day. But, but this was the uh, ultimate. I mean, you could I see. I wish I had realized because I would have I would have come in here at this time. Right. It was actually about a, about a half hour before closing because if it had been an hour, we may have gone up and gone our swimsuits. Mm -hmm. It just looked so 
nice and so and the water is heated peaceful. it's beautiful i had a lot of fun i did end up going in and uh, spending some time there and we're taking a quick look in the evening but again another awesome stay at gaylord palms and another show that is another show thanks to our sponsor mei and mouse van trouble they can help you with walt disney world they can also assist you with gaylord palms uh, or anywhere you want to go that is available um, but they are disney specialists and uh I, we really recommend them. And, you know, it's going to be a big week this week. This is, you know, there's so much going on. I mean, we're going to go to Epcot to go to the beer garden. Finally, beer yes, garden. Yes, I know. You've been I really waiting wait. for that. And, and I look forward have to too. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, then we're going to ride the People Move for as long Hopefully. as it's open. That's yes. That's right. Then Disney California Adventure is going to open as well as Disneyland. But we're we have our... Our reporter person, we, there. We are sending him to We've got Disney. him uh, two tickets so he can go to DCA and to Disneyland. So that will be great to see his coverage. That would be this Friday, opening day, and then the 4th, May the 4th, will be, be at Disneyland. But then it's not the end for us because Wednesday we're hoping to go to Universal mm -hmm. and also uh, we're going to check out some burgers. White Castle. White Castle. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to, we're planning on Universal on, on Wednesday and then also on next Sunday, we're supposed to, to ride Velocicoaster yes, at Universal. Yes, we got Universal. into the pass holder. I cannot wait to ride Velocicoaster. So there's a lot going on. Like Unlike have... the last coaster, it took us almost a year to ride that one, Hagrid's. Looks like we'll be riding this one right away before yeah. it even opens. So we're very lucky we were able we were... to get in the right place at the right time. And um, yeah, Hagrid's is so much fun. I really, really love that coaster. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what what this one will be. We've been watching it as it uh, as it's built. Not not as often lately, just because Universal is a little bit, you know, has been a little bit busier for spring break. But I'm looking forward to heading back for Mardi Gras. Oh, and also we will all find out more about the Disney Wish on Thursday. There's so much coming up in the coming week. Is that Thursday? I don't That's even this know. This coming Thursday. Yes, the twenty. I just know the 29th, <laughs> uh, and I have it in the calendar. I'm really excited to find out more about it and just the thought of cruising being able to return oh boy is um i'm very excited about it and i hope i hope it's sooner than later you know it's... and it will be sooner to all our friends in the uk because they will have that nice uh cruise to nowhere going on very soon yeah i mean the disney cruise line will be doing like i think they're like two day um two to three day weekend cruises. weekend getaways yeah and that sounds like it would be fun i i would love to see that here i would i'd love to do a two to three day cruise so Thanks again for listening. Have a great week, and we will see you all next week. Have a great week.